From rolling dice to spinning a roulette wheel, probability is everywhere. It tells us the chances of winning the lottery if it might rain today, even if we'll find a parking spot on a busy street. We use probability to make decisions, figure out risks and plan for the future. But what if this basic idea is wrong? What if probability is just something we made up, a story to help us understand a universe that works in ways we don't get? Join me as we explore the interesting and confusing world of probability. We'll look at where it came from, what it means, and think about the idea that randomness might not be real. Get ready to change how you think about chance, uncertainty, and how the universe works. Our story begins in the 1500s, a time of great change and discovery in Europe. The Renaissance was in full swing, bringing with it a renewed interest in art, science and the natural world. During the Renaissance, a new kind of math started to grow. Scholars and thinkers were eager to explore new ideas and challenge old beliefs. They delved into ancient texts and began to develop new theories. Mathematicians like Blaise Pascal and Pierre de Fermat wanted to understand chance and games of luck. They were fascinated by the randomness of dice rolls and card games, and they sought to find patterns in the chaos. Through their work, they created what we now call probability theory. This new branch of mathematics provided a way to quantify uncertainty and make predictions about future events. Their ideas, first used for gambling, soon became useful in many areas. Merchants used probability to assess risks in trade, and doctors applied it to understand the spread of diseases. From guessing coin flips to figuring out the dangers of sailing, probability helped people deal with uncertainty. It became a crucial tool for navigating the unpredictable world. Today, probability is used in everything from the stock market to weather forecasts. Financial analysts use it to predict market trends, while meteorologists rely on it to forecast the weather. From tiny atoms to artificial intelligence, probability plays a key role in modern science and technology. It helps scientists understand the behavior of particles and develop advanced algorithms. We use it so much that we don't often ask if it's even real. But what is probability? Is it just a mathematical tool? Or does it reflect something deeper about the nature of reality? Is it a rule of the universe, a basic law about how things work? Some scientists believe that probability is fundamental to the laws of physics, governing everything from the motion of planets to the behavior of subatomic particles. Or is it just something humans made up to understand a messy, unpredictable world? Philosophers and mathematicians continue to debate the true nature of probability. But one thing is certain, it has changed the way we see the world. Let's think about flipping a coin. It's a simple act, something we've all done countless times. We're told there's an equal chance of heads or tails, 50-50. This idea is deeply ingrained in our understanding of probability. But is it really random, or is there more to it than meets the eye? Imagine we could slow down time, look closely at the coin in the air, and see every force acting on it, the spin, the speed, the angle, all these factors come into play. The coin's weight, the angle it was flipped, the air moving around it. All these tiny things affect the result. Even the surface it lands on can make a difference. If we knew everything perfectly, could we predict heads or tails for sure? Scientists and mathematicians have pondered this question for years. If so, the randomness of the coin flip is just an illusion, because we don't know enough. It's like a magic trick. It seems random, but there's a method behind it. This idea that randomness might be because we don't know everything changes how we think about probability. It suggests that what we call random is just a reflection of our ignorance. It suggests probability isn't a rule of the universe, but a tool we use to deal with a complicated world we don't fully understand. In a way, it's a bridge between what we know and what we don't. So next time you flip a coin, remember, it's not just a simple act. It's a glimpse into the complex dance of forces and factors that shape our world. Randomness gets even more complicated when we talk about quantum mechanics, the branch of physics that deals with the behavior of particles at the smallest scales. Unlike the predictable world we experience daily, 
The quantum realm is full of surprises and uncertainties. Quantum mechanics is the theory of how tiny atoms and subatomic particles work. It challenges our classical understanding of physics, introducing concepts that seem almost magical. Here, the usual rules of physics seem to disappear, replaced by a world where particles can exist in multiple states at once and outcomes are determined by probabilities rather than certainties. In this realm, probabilities and uncertainty reign supreme. The exact position or momentum of a particle cannot be known with absolute certainty. Take the location of an electron, for example. It isn't fixed like a planet orbiting a star. Instead, it's described by a probability cloud, a region where the electron is most likely to be found. This probability cloud represents all the possible locations the electron could occupy, with some areas being more likely than others. It's a fascinating concept that defies our everyday experiences where objects have definite positions and paths. Another example is radioactive decay. When a radioactive atom decays, it does so at random. We can predict the probability of decay over a certain period, but we can't pinpoint the exact moment it will happen. This randomness is akin to rolling a dice or drawing a lottery ball. We can calculate the odds, but the outcome remains uncertain until it happens. Does this mean Randomness is real? Not necessarily. The nature of quantum mechanics has led to various interpretations and debates among scientists and philosophers. Some ideas about quantum mechanics, like the many worlds interpretation, suggest that every possible outcome of a quantum event actually happens, but in different parallel universes. According to this interpretation, what we perceive as randomness is just our limited view of one universe among many. Other ideas, like hidden variable theories, propose that there might be underlying rules or variables that we haven't discovered yet, which could explain the apparent randomness. These hidden variables could be the key to unlocking a deeper understanding of the quantum world, revealing a deterministic nature beneath the surface. The debate about quantum randomness is still a big mystery in physics. As we continue to explore and experiment, we may one day uncover the true nature of the quantum dice roll. Chapter 4. A Universe Without Randomness If probability is just an illusion because we don't know everything, then the universe works on strict rules. Everything from galaxies forming to our brain's thinking is caused by something else, a chain reaction going back to the beginning of time. Imagine a supercomputer that could analyze every atom, every force, every tiny interaction in the universe. Could we then predict the entire future? No randomness, no probabilities, just a pre-written script. This idea of a universe without randomness has big implications, especially for free will. Chapter 5. The Paradox of Free Will If everything is already decided, what does that mean for our choices? Are we in control, or are our choices just the result of things that happened long ago? A universe without randomness seems to say our lives are just pre-programmed, our choices are illusions. But maybe there's another way to think about it. Maybe our feeling of making choices is just because our brains are so complex. Our brains have billions of neurons, all connected. This makes it impossible to predict our thoughts and actions for sure. So, even if our choices are predetermined on some level, the experience of making them feels real. Chapter 6. Why probability is still important. Even if probability isn't a fundamental rule, it's still really useful. It helps us understand complex things, measure uncertainty, and make smart decisions when we don't know what will happen. We may never know if a coin flip is truly random or if our choices are our own. But probability helps us navigate the world, make the best guesses, and deal with what we're given. In a world of uncertainty, probability is a powerful tool for understanding, predicting, and maybe even influencing what happens. Chapter 7. The Philosophical Dilemma The question of whether probability really exists is a philosophical one. Philosophers and scientists have thought about it for centuries and we may never have a definite answer. But maybe that's what makes it interesting. Searching for truth is often more rewarding than finding it. Whether the universe is predetermined or random, 
Whether our choices are preordained or free, asking these questions helps us understand ourselves and the universe. So as we look at this big mystery with all its uncertainty, we have more questions than answers. Is probability just something we made up, a comforting story in a universe with strict rules? Or is randomness a part of everything, a basic part of a universe full of surprises? The answer might always be a mystery, but the journey, the search for knowledge and understanding is what really matters. By asking these big questions, we start to understand the mysteries of the universe and our place in it. Until next time, keep exploring, keep asking questions, and never stop being amazed by the wonders of the world, even if they seem uncertain.